Hey everybody, uh, my name is Felicia Scalzetti and I am the Crowd Redistricting Fellow representing the Ordinary People Society and the Alabama Election Protection Network. Um, and I cover Central Alabama and the Wiregrass region. Um, and I'm here today to give y'all updates on what's been happening with local redistricting. Local redistricting is the process by which local jurisdiction, county commissioners, and city councils or your town council uh, will rearrange their districts that they get elected from to make sure that the population size of each of those districts is roughly equal in size. If you can imagine, you wouldn't want one person representing 10,000 people and the city councilor across the table from them representing only 5,000 people. That's not fair. So we go through this process once every 10 years to make sure that these lines are even. And that's where you, the community members, come in because you know your community is the best and your input into where these lines should go is incredibly valuable. So uh, lately we've been very tied up in um, Auburn, Alabama. Auburn has eight wards and it is becoming an increasingly diverse city. So there's a lot of interest in seeing if we can have two minority represented wards in the Auburn City Council. Auburn's now over 30% uh, minority. And so that process is currently ongoing. Right now there's a vote scheduled to pass the proposed map that has been proposed by the city of Auburn on December 21st. A number of activists um, and groups such as like the NAACP, League of Women Voters, um, Hometown Organizing Project have all gotten together and asked the city council to please delay that vote until January or February to allow more citizens to have input into that process and to also consider the alternative map that the community has presented, which would give Auburn to minority districts. So this is just an example of what can happen when people get involved and show up and actually have the opportunity to have their voices heard. And so now we need to have city leaders actually turn around and hear us back. We have a solution to the issue that we've identified and we would like time to have it considered. Um, otherwise, we've seen a lot of counties um, and areas that have elections coming up in 2022 have already either finished redistricting or have presented final maps and likely will be uh, passed. But there's a lot, a lot, a lot of jurisdictions um, that have not even started this process yet. So if you are in a town or a city that is not having elections in 2022, chances are you guys haven't redistricted yet and you still have a lot of time to get involved in this process and have some meaningful change in your own community. A lot of challenges that we've come across is um, getting information. Many counties, especially rural ones or jurisdictions, just don't have the kind of support needed to run their own websites. So just getting basic information like when is their next election is actually kind of hard. I still don't have a complete list of every map, of every like currently enacted maps. I was just helping somebody this morning trying to find maps that we know have been passed. We know that they are enacted and yet we cannot find them online anywhere. I mean, that's for one of the biggest counties in the state. So just imagine the issues with a rural county, like say Barber County, which doesn't appear to have a website or, you know, Morgan, or, you know, the more rural you get, the less money and funding that they have to run services. That also means that, that their staff are likely also made up of volunteers who may not have answers to the questions that we need answered, like has a map been proposed? What is the proposed like hearing date for this? Like, is there going to be a public hearing? How is feedback going to be considered? So right now it's, it's a bit of a patchwork process, but that's why working with community members is so important because you know your community is the best. There's definitely a, a range of, of what local leaders feel about redistricting. There are people who believe that it is best for legislators to draw their own lines, um, for elected officials to draw their own lines because they know their, their district's the best. There are people who honestly just want to get this process over with, that this is just another thing to check off for them, which is fair. I understand that. It's once every 10 years and it's a lot. There are a lot of officials who really don't feel like they understand it. And so when they're presented with a map from, say, a planning council or a map maker that they've contracted with, don't really question what they've been given because they don't feel like they fully understand it too. So I know I keep talking about how it's really important for community members to understand the redistricting process. It's pretty vital for elected officials to understand as well. Um, I've talked to multiple elected officials and helped them understand more about what's going on and the balance and you know what they should be considering when looking at maps. And I think that that's a very important piece of this as well, is that 
elected officials are sometimes in an antagonistic position of the community, but not always, certainly not always. And they deserve to understand what they're voting on as well. This is, this is sort of a, a marathon. Uh, this is a marathon that started with a sprint at the beginning. Um, statewide redistricting got a lot of headlines and it, we're about to move into the 2022 electoral cycle. Um, there's gonna be a lot of headlines flying around at everybody and it's very easy to lose the thread of what's going on. But these maps will be in place for 10 years. These maps will be setting up communities to fail or succeed for 10 more years. And it is really, really important that we get this right. And the only way to get it right is to have community input into what's going on. And for that community input to actually be taken seriously and to be put in to the maps. So the first part of that process is please get involved to find out whether your community already has redistricted it, well, whether it's going to redistrict um, and what the, the general parameters are. Is your elected officials planning on holding a public hearing? Um, how are they gonna integrate your comments into the maps? Who is drawing your maps? Those are just pick up the phone and call and ask. Like I said, your, your, your elected officials work for you and it's really important that they um, are responsive to what your questions are. All right, thank you all for tuning in. Uh, this is just the first video of a series where I, uh, Felicia Spelzetti, and the other Crowd Fellows will be keeping y'all updated. So join the crowd and tune in to the following videos and find out what's going on in your local community. Thanks.